All right, happy Friday, everybody. I thought I'd record just a little earlier today just to um, get it out the way. I finished up work early. I'm gonna do some work tomorrow. Um, so that allowed me some extra time to be able to record right now. I was trying to think of a topic today and um, couldn't really come up with one, looked at the list, wasn't really feeling any of them. And um, <laughs> in coming up with my routine for next week, it gave me the great idea to talk about uh, coming up with your own personalized workout routine today. Now, <clears throat> in coming up with your workout routine, schedule, regimen, whatever you want to call it, uh, the first thing to sort of distinguish is well, what are you trying to achieve? Are you trying to gain muscle mass? Are you trying to lose body fat? Are you trying to increase your endurance and your stamina? All of them require different um, different approaches, I guess is what I'll call it here. Uh, for me, uh, for example, these last 30 days, I've done quite literally full body workouts um, for about five days out of the week. And then on the weekends, I would do isolated exercises for, but for the most part, there were still very much so full body workouts. And the way I approached it is, or was, even though I was working out full body workouts, I was still, or I'm still only focusing on going heavy with certain muscle groups for that specific day. And it's a constant adjusting game for me, but that's sort of what makes me tick and what keeps me interested in going to the gym. So that's just what kind of works for me. And the ways I adjust, for example, is if, um, if anyone, you know, if, if you look at my exercises on my YouTube videos or my previous ones, you can see that, um, for example, on, well, I'll start with this on the weekdays, um, Actually, no, every day. <laughs> so every day I try to make sure that I work out something for my shoulders, um, something for my chest and triceps, something for my biceps and my back, something for my abs and something for my legs. Um, and it started out in the beginning, just a total mesh, right? And I did that because I took the approach of just throwing spaghetti on a wall and seeing what sticks. And then from there, I started fine tuning. Okay, what do I like about this thing? What do I like about that thing? Um, these two or these three exercises actually work really, really well together. I could stick those in, um, in this day, and then I could mix it up with these days and these days, right? So it turned or what it turned into was on from Monday to Friday, I'll see if I can help you guys visualize this. From Monday to Friday, it's all full body workouts, but I start from literally every angle upwards, going down this way to where on Friday, I'm doing everything um, push or pulling from the, um, the uh, I guess we'll call it the bottom angle. Um, so Monday, for example, I'm doing uh, let's go over like presses, right? So Monday, I do a shoulder press. Tuesday, I do an incline press. Wednesday, I do a flat bench or a flat chest press. Thursday, I do a decline. And then on Friday, I do dips. Now, this week, for example, I went super, super hard on Tuesday and Thursday. And then I went kind of light on my shoulder presses really, really light on Wednesday for the flat, um, the flat chest press. And then today it's just dips. So it's just my body weight. I'm not even adding any heavy kind of resistance to that. Um, and that kind of just works for me. Right. And my goal here is I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm doing both, um, gaining muscle mass and trying to lose body fat. 
Um, and that's what works for me. So again, it could be different for everybody else, but there are, I guess we can call it non-negotiables that I would say you would want to incorporate into your routine. And those are rest periods. Um, as I've learned throughout these last 30 days, uh, rest is super, super important. So you definitely want to incorporate rest days, whether it's every, if you want to alternate, like weave in, working out three days out of the week in a row and then take a rest day for the, for the fourth day and then rinse, wash, repeat after, right? Um, that works. Uh, another thing that you want to do is, uh, and I talked about this the other day, is periodization. So you want to adjust your intensity that you're working out. Um, as I gave the example a while ago, where I was going super hard on Tuesday and Thursday, and then Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I was taking it pretty easy. That's an example of periodization, or as far as I understand it. And then you also want to obviously incorporate variety. Uh, so, and I guess that is sort of like what periodization is, but by variety, I guess what I meant by that is um, don't just do, like if you're trying to lose body fat, for example, like don't just do cardio, right? Do some weight training as well. Um, if you're trying to gain muscle mass, don't just go to uh, don't just go to the weights automatically. There's other things that you can do um, that can also help with that. Oh, and then the last thing for sure. Sorry, I know that I said three, but um, I also have to talk about this, which is um, your nutrition. Because as we know, right, I've said it before and I'll say it again, set, well, I don't really know what the percentage is, but I'm going to say about 60 to 60, 80% to of the battle of um, you losing whatever it is you want to lose for me, um, for me where I want to lose body fat, the battle is in the kitchen. So you also want to pay attention to your nutrition, whether you're gaining mass or you're losing mass, that's going to take an increase in calories or a decrease in calories. So those are all something to consider when coming up with your own workout routine. If you're having trouble coming up with a workout routine or if you have one and you want to talk about it, don't hesitate to leave a comment on the bottom and uh, we could talk about it and um, shoot the shit. As for my workouts for today, here it is. Like I said, we went kind of easy um, on the uh, on the chest or, or on the uh, the chest tricep movement. On the other things, though, not so much. I definitely went hard on the uh, <laughs> the pectoral flies here. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Alrighty. So for today, we did the dips, forty reps of those at my body weight. We did the barbell rows for forty reps. I did the squats. I only did about, uh, yeah, I did 10 reps of these today. My, um, my legs were feeling kind of like worn out. So I just wanted to take it easy. I did the planks. I actually got up to 80 seconds total, which is a minute and 20. And I did four sets of those. Um, so an additional five seconds that, um, per set, it's a pretty big win for me. Flutter kicks. I got up to 52 and a half kicks um, every time, but I'm still gonna count that as 50 for now. So I'm, I'm gonna say it's 200 reps for the flutter kicks. The rear deltoid flies, I did 40 reps of those, but I reached um, 70 pounds on the machine. And uh, for pectoral flies, I hit the 140 again today. Um, but I started from 100, so I went 100, one, no, 110, sorry, 110, 120, 131. 40 for a total of 40 reps. For water, I am at four out of eight pints, and I'm pretty confident I could finish it. The night is still pretty young. It's uh, like 5.52, so I'll, I'll be able to finish that. For food though, man, I, um, I am lacking, that's for sure. I'm at like 70 grams of protein, because uh, I had a salad with a lot of protein in there and a protein shake. So, yeah, about 70, 72 grams. But for calories, 
I am at 1100. Um, and I don't mind that. I think, uh, I think that's pretty, that's a pretty good number. If I eat one more meal, I'll probably be, I'll probably be at about like 1800. Um, but I do have to drink another sh protein shake and eat something else. And that'll put me maybe at like 130 ish. Um, maybe two shakes. That way I can hit, uh, at least like a 150, 160 mark, but I'll, I'll update the, um, the total intake for the day on the description for the YouTube video when I'm done uploading it. And we have the weekend coming up. Sunday is getting closer and closer. That's our check-in day. I'm kind of debating on if I want to do a video either on either tomorrow or on Sunday. Uh, showing where I was day one and then where I am day 30 because 30 days is it's, it's a pretty uh, it's a pretty good amount of time to be able to at least show some results uh, I don't know if I'm fully satisfied with where I'm at uh, or just because I know where like I aspire to be but I'm not discrediting myself because there has been a lot of effort and I do see huge changes I've 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 never seen this much tone on me for sure. Like I'll say that and I've never lifted this heavy before. Um, so again, I'm not trying to discredit myself here, but I guess I just, um, I have such huge uh, goals that I want to reach that I'm still sort of like downplaying this, but I am very, very much so happy with where I am. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. But for today, in closing, in the marathon of fitness, uh, sorry, fitness, balanced intensity is the stride, or sorry, a balanced workout routine is the stride that propels you forward mile after mile. Embrace the ebb and flow, find your rhythm, and let each workout be a step towards enduring strength. Oh yeah. <laughs> See y'all tomorrow.